So uh, the dimensions to cut the ailerons uh, are as follows. Uh, from the this so this is the right wing so uh, this is the root and this is the tip so from the root we will uh, leave 10 centimeters and from the tip we will lead 5 centimeters okay and our aileron would be 4 centimeters Right, so we 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 draw this line here, four centimeters. What else can I? Four centimeter here, and over here. Make sure this is parallel. Make very sure this line is parallel. Uh, and then we'll draw this line here so this is the part we are going to cut out now and again this is 10 centimeters this is 5 centimeters and this is 4 centimeters okay let's let's cut this out we're going to cut the aileron out use a straight edge and a sharp knife cut out on the lines use multiple passes change the knife uh, if the blade is dulled we will we'll just change our knife and we will be back so we have replaced our knife and our back with a very sharp knife now we will cut this A sharp knife gives a very clean cut. A blunt knife usually crushes the foam and damages uh, damages the foam. Yeah, use a straight line. Cut on the line. Okay, now you can, so this is the aileron which has been cut out, mm -hmm. again for the dimensions this is 10 cm, this is 5 cm and this is 4 cm. So the, the next step we are going to do with this mm -hmm. aileron is now to bevel, bevel the edges uh, and I'll, I'll just briefly explain how we are going to do this before we actually do it. Uh, so uh, what we will do is that we'll create a hinge on the top. Uh, we'll create a top layer hinge. So we'll hinge with tape here. So we need to uh, trim out this section. We need to bevel out. So this is the top side. We need to like bevel it out like this. Cut this out so the aileron can move freely down downwards. And then we will hinge using uh, some clear tape. So let's uh, do the bevel. For the bevel, uh, what we will do is uh, to start the bevel. What we will do is that this is the top side and this is the bottom side. Maybe we'll write a B here to make sure this is the bottom side. So the first thing we will do is that uh, we will cut the tape approximately 3 mm, 3 or maybe 5 mm inside. So we'll put a uh, long straight edge here 5 mm 
and using a sharp knife uh, remove the lamination material across the entire bottom side just carefully so that you do not cut the foam and just cut the tape okay, done so this side will be removed now the foam is exposed and now we will uh, sand using the sandpaper So sand very evenly across the entire aileron edge so that the bevel is created. So the dimensions of the bevel are from the top edge to the bottom edge, bottom edge which is 5 mm behind the hinge line. Be very patient, go very slowly and take time to do this as accurately as possible. You don't want to break out the and around uh, and the course of sanding. So let's uh, sand this and we'll be back in a minute. So we have just sanded the aileron. Uh, after sanding the aileron looks like this. Uh, the top edge is here, the bottom edge is sanded back and uh, you can see that this can now move down as well as up with the top line flush here. So now uh, we are going to hinge this out uh, using some clear tape. Uh, hmm. And also what you can do at this point is you can uh, you can trim off about two millimeter two millimeter of the control surface from the side. I cut out a very thin layer, something like this, so that the aileron would be very free to move in its space and will not touch the sides. So let's let's hinge this out. So uh, the way we'll hinge is that we will hold the control the aileron like this, point it down, and. We start hinging from the root. Half tape on the aileron and half tape on the wing. Wait. No. Okay, this is now going well. Just keep the aileron very tight to the wing so that there is no hinge gap uh, and no slop. And gently, gently press the uh, gently press the tape. Be very sure to keep the elevator to, to keep the aileron pointed down so you have uh, the necessary amount of throw okay cut this out okay so the top part is now hinged. Now we'll have to repeat uh, the uh, we'll have to hinge the bottom part as well to complete the hinge process. What we'll do is now is that we'll cut a small piece of tape. And tape this folded back like this. 
now we will uh, hinge this side using the tape 